Hello guys, in this video I want to share with you a fantastic game for PlayStation 2, which I think it, it deserved more attention. I found the game quite diverse and original, at least it has things that I never seen in other games. The game is Kaya, Dark Lineage, and if I say Kia instead of Kaya, I'm sorry, I'm going to try avoiding doing that. Because in my native language, we would read Kia instead of Kaya. So it, it's something kind of hard to control, but I'm gonna try it. So let's start by the story. The story is nothing out of this world, but I liked it. Kaya and her half-brother, Frank, find a secret room at their home. It appears to be Kaya's father's laboratory. Frank touches a medallion that teleports them to another world. Unfortunately, the two get separated. Frank was captured by the enemy, while Kai was fortunate enough to be found by the natives who helped her escape from the enemies. In Native City, Kaya speaks to the village elder, who explains that in order for her to return home, she has to collect several runes that have parts of the medallion of that world. He also tells her that Brazul, the antagonist, is catching natives and turning them into Wolfen through a machine to create his own army. Upon hearing Brazul's name, Kai recognizes him as her father. Further ahead in the story there will be more twists, but it's better for me to not say more, to not give spoilers. So now let's go talk about the gameplay. I love the gameplay of this game, they are games that are good, but after a while they start to become repetitive. In Kaya that doesn't happen, we can do things like surfing, skydiving, mount a creature, we have two types of creatures, we have one that is orange, that jumps really high, and then we have one that is, that is black, and this one runs faster. These creatures kind of remind me the creatures from the game Odd World for PlayStation 1. Maybe some of you will also see why I think they are similar. Then we kind of have something that uh, reminds uh, football or soccer. I don't know which one I should say. We use an animal that we have to attract with food. Uh, like a football ball and then like a trampoline to get to some places. It's a bit weird. We use a boomerang to open places, blow up explosives or upset enemies to make them fight each other. The boomerang has two upgrades. The first letters aim and the second letters use the boomerang telepathically. We can use cannons. We can also climb things. In the city of the natives we can visit stores to buy things like boomerangs, life upgrades, bracelets and other things. The bracelets give you new attacks to use against the wolfen. In order to open new stores in the native city, the wolfen must be exercised after defeating them. Returning to their original form, the natives return to their city and build new stores. In addition to the shops, there are also mini games in the city that you can play with a second player. There's also a zoo where you are asked to look for creatures in exchange for money and an area to train your fighting skills. The collectibles we have are coins to buy things and mana to cure Kaya in the Amber things and to exercise Wolfens. The stronger the Wolfen, the more mana you spend. To know what kind of Wolfen he is, just look at the colors of their clothes 
because there are several types with the same appearance and the difference is really just the color. I also recently discovered that the American version of the game has a different song in the credits. The European version seems to have the music that was taken into consideration for the dance of the characters. The name of the song is Sweet Soccer Music by Sugar Daddy. If you are curious, you can check the music. In the American version, it seems that they put two songs from the soundtrack which doesn't look good with the dance. It seems really out of place. The end of the game implies that there was going to be a sequel, but there never was. And that really makes me sad because I really love this game. This game is one of my favorite games of all time. And yeah, I already said everything I had to say about this wonderful game. Did you found it interesting? Let me know in the comments, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, bye bye!